Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Banished Harsh Survival. How are you today? Leave down below in the comments your thoughts and views on today's episode, and don't forget to leave a like. I'm here in my banished world, and it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's, it's easy now. It seems to be much easier these days than it ever was. I've got all the amenities that I need around here, and going off exploring and adventuring was my original plan, to be a nomadic kind of person. But um, I've not really found anything when I've been out exploring. There's a few nice places, but it kind of duplicates over and over again. I still didn't find a jungle. I still didn't find a desert. I still didn't find a mesa biome or an ocean monument or anything like that. And this realistic terrain generation seems to give me more of the same wherever I go. More, more, more of the same. So I think a world restart would be the best way to find some different terrain, to be honest. Other than that, just going out into uh, a nondescript direction, just forever, until I find something and see what happens. But I am not going to do either of those things in the build-up towards Christmas. No, it's nearly Christmas time here when recording this. Uh, we're in December and we're getting ready for a Christmas special. A Christmas special. There's a few episodes to go before a Christmas special, but I thought I would set things up early on uh, so that you're expecting, so that you're excited for Christmas. Uh, one of the things that I've been thinking of doing was setting up a large gathering in the village of Deep Valley for Christmas, like a Christmas festival type thing and uh, getting all the villagers around to come and have a party over here with me. As you can see, all of the uh, all of the uh, fruits of my labor have all grown up. I've stopped collecting the farming stuff. We need to have a harvest first before we have a Christmas festival. That and it's uh, nowhere near winter yet because look, the crops are all there still. Nowhere near winter. And uh, in the last episode, I showed you uh, the farm, and I sorted a few bits out of the farm. I've uh, changed these around. I've stripped all the bark off these to make it look slightly nicer. Slightly nicer. And I've made sure that I've got no more pigs coming out, and no more sheep. Uh, I think it was the special wall sections, these bits, that were allowing them to get out. And potentially they still could just here. Where they could climb up onto the top there and then walk out onto the ladder. Uh, but they've stopped doing it, so I've stopped killing them off and I've left them alone. Uh, Chicken-wise, we're now into all white chickens and they're laying eggs everywhere. Far too many feathers for me to ever use. I'm not really sure if there's a decent use for feathers, but I've got far too many. Uh, I can make a mob totems focus. I haven't played around with mob totems yet, so we'll have to test that out sometime. Uh, speaking of mobs that we haven't tested out yet, uh, I've uh, been scanning through a, a JEI while I was uh, warming up by the fire because I was extremely cold. Uh, perhaps because I'm only wearing my winter coat, my wool jacket, instead of the rest of the suit. Um, but yeah, I was warming up by the fire and I was scanning through all the different mobs. And we'll come back to the one that I actually want to do today a bit later on. Uh, but there is one that I've never played with and I think I should have played with early on. Uh, better with mods. Better with mods. So I've got a little bit of research on better with mods to figure out how to get through and do things. Uh, there's been no news on how to get the boss of Totanic. So there's no sign of us fighting the boss of Totanic just yet. Uh, I did have a good look through all of this stuff. And I want to do stra uh, water strainers today. Yes, I decided I wanted to do water strainers. Long story short. Uh, but the Totamic boss, I was all set up in here last episode to fight the boss. And since then, I've increased the number of wolves and I'm all ready for if somebody told me how I was supposed to do the ritual to summon the big boss with the uh, things and the stuff and the dancing around here. So I mentioned doing shift and dancing. Maybe if I was wearing the, uh, the uh, bells on the suit, maybe the bells on the skirt, that might work. Uh, but we'll try that another time. I want to get on with something today that's uh, kind of straightforward, I hope. I've got a lot of water over here. A lot of water. So I figure we could do some water straining to get that sort of stuff sorted out and try and get somewhere with it. So... 
<clears throat> into the tent we go and we'll head on to the crafting side of things uh, it's still blocked off so I can't go anywhere else in this place uh, so what's the first things that we need to think about here the first things in strainers is a strainer base a strainer base generates items while it's in water but it requires a strainer each of the strainers have got a different thing to do but we'll we'll start on this we need a hopper a chest some iron bars now do I have some iron bars left over from before no I do not uh, I've got plenty of iron though to be able to make some now because I keep throwing some more stuff in there and then pouring it out where's my nugget thing oh I've lost it okay where did I put that oh no I lost me nuggets uh, we'll we'll use a, no we won't we'll leave that we'll ignore it for now we'll ignore it we don't need it right now let's get a hopper do I have a hopper spare no I do not okay I've used all my hoppers up as well hopper ducks and the like and I've got a chest there we go and what was the other things four planks a chest and a hopper so I'm actually going to need two chests and some planks well I've run out of my initial supply of planks. Those planks have lasted me forever. Uh, I did have a wood chopping block somewhere. Uh, do I have it in here? Yeah, I've still got it in here. I'll, uh, I'll chop some wood up and uh, get that sorted. Chop some wood. Thank you. I only need a couple, I think. There we go. Awesome. Right, so we'll have a hopper... Uh, the strainers, strainers in this are possibly the most funky. There's different things you can get from the strainers in different ways. And I figured that because there's so much stuff that it might be worth getting some bits and pieces, including fish and stuff, ready for my party, my uh, Christmas festival. There we go, we've got a strainer base. So we only need one to do some stuff, but I would like more than one. Let's put it that way. But for right now, I just want to get the first one started and I can always change some more. Now, the survivalist strainer has a percentage chance low of getting quite a lot of stuff. But it's got some flowered lily pads and lily pads and things in there. Some interesting stuff in there. As well as a 2% chance of getting raw fish. Still not very much chance of getting much. The solid survivalist strainer has a ton more uses and similar chances to get stuff. The reinforced survival strainer, uh, strainer has uh, the same things again. And this one, survivalist strainer tight, has a chance of getting lily pads mostly still. Has a large percentage chance of getting lily pads. But these ones don't get the fish. And I want the fish. Uh, a wide strainer gets bigger fish. There's puffer fish and raw fish. There's a 5% chance of getting fish for those. And, uh, yeah, the three different types. So there's basically three types. There's the normal strainers, which have the bulk of it. There's the uh, smaller strainers, which are tight, and they don't seem to get any fish. So there's two types of fish. And then there's the wide ones, which have a 5% chance of getting fish, as opposed to a 2% chance of getting fish down here. So there's more chance of getting fish in the wider ones. So let's make the wider ones, and I suppose... That's a solid. Wait, why not? Yeah, there we go. We'll have a solid survivalist strainer to go with that. Yes, because we had all of the materials on us. Why not? And let's go back out and see what we can do with it. I'll probably need to make another hopper to hopper out the contents of it into something. But there's a few little hoppers that I'd like to test out as well that might be kind of useful. Let's have it... We've got to go down here somewhere. I like the way the grass has grown all underneath here. Maybe it was generated that way and I've just never noticed. Or maybe the grass did actually grow underneath. Uh, well, we've got to put this down a couple of blocks from the section that we're after. Like so. And then we put the strainer inside it. And then as you can see we can pass through the strainer which is awesome. <coughs> and water flows around it. And then eventually we'll get some stuff appearing in here. And then how do we get stuff out of there? Well, I'm going to have to use another hopper. Oh, already it's getting branches. I didn't realise branches was on there. Oh, branches, 26% chance of getting branches. Yes. There's only 5% chance of getting fish. That is the big deal, isn't it? But there is chance of getting stone and clay 
from it as well, which is useful. So we'll see about those later on. We'll see about what we get a bit later on in the episode. But there's another couple of things that I stumbled upon while I was checking through any eye that after a quick sleep we may go and sort out. Have a sleep. Wakey wakey. Rise and shine. It's the morning. Oh, beautiful sunny day once again. That's a quick sleep, wasn't it? Uh, and back through to this lot. Uh, I don't need that down. In oh, I might need that down actually. Let's leave it down there for now. Uh, the other thing that I was looking at was an XP hopper. There's vanilla automation, right? It's a small mod, uh, not tough as nails, not that. not that. There's literally a block placer, an XP hopper, a hoppered filter, uh, a filtered hopper, should I say, a description tag, and a guidebook and a poke stick. That's pretty much all there is to it. Let's have a guidebook though, a book with a piston. Um, do I have a piston? I have a sticky piston, but no pistons. Uh, well, we can soon make a piston. Let's get a bit of redstone. And we've got the iron, and we've got some wood. So it's cobble. If I can remember to make a piston. Pistons were always the thing in vanilla that always struck me as the worst crafting recipe. And then we go into modded Minecraft, and there's always a ton of things. Oh, that's always the wrong way around for me as well. That. Okay, do I have a book in here? No, I've probably got a book at the XP farm though, haven't I? So let's quickly get a book to put that together and have a check of the guide. Ah, oh, peace and quiet around here. I spent so much time sorting all this out. I enjoyed my time over here. Uh, I still, uh, I still come over here to use it occasionally, uh, but at the moment I've got, uh, I think I have 37 levels actually, so I should probably sort my XP out like, a, like a sup, and then uh, plonk it all away. Just get rid. Lots of XP. Lots of XP. It's a, it's a it's an interesting way of getting rid of XP. I can do it faster if I click, but you can hear the clicking. Manic clicking. But you get a lot of XP bottles for it. I can I can get rid of lots and lots here. And I do this every now and again just to bring my level back down. And then I uh, throw them all away in there. Uh, should we enchant something? Uh... We've got nothing in particular in here. Where's my books then? Do I not have any books? I thought I'd have had books around. Do I not have books anywhere? I must have used them all up last time I was busy. Let's take that chest. Uh, let's enchant. Let's enchant. I want to enchant something now. Now me, I want to enchant something. Hey, give me that back. Uh everything on here needs levels to take it off and I've only got two lapis in there okay maybe not enchanting then maybe not we'll we'll give that a miss today let's focus on the important stuff around the place so what was the other thing that I was doing I was going back through and around here to get to here to do this okay so I need to make a book and I've got some paper kicking around two paper is that all okay we've got some more here and I thought I had some leather kicking around in here as well. It's because I've spent a lot of time dealing with the farms. Most of the stuff has disappeared. There we go. We've got that now. Let's do a little bit of this. Make a book. Add the book to the piston. And we end up with a guide for vanilla automation. Vanilla automation. Well, there's a few things here. Let's have a look. Um, the auto trader. Ooh. Coming soonish. Ah, okay. That look, that's going to be a good thing, though. I'd like that. Uh, all right, block placer. Block placer can, as the name suggests, place blocks in the world. It'll also right-click with any items at the position it would normally place things at. You can change the facing and the placing distance in the GUI. So it can place blocks and right-click with items. So that would be good for farming, auto-farming as a block placer. Might have to mess around with that a bit later on. Uh, tweaks for the dispenser receives a few tweaks to allow it to automate things the following things are new placing any vanilla tool in the dispenser allows it to break blocks die die will die any sheep in front and bone meal will be applied to the ground also shears will shear sheep aha uh -huh. so i could have a dispenser that would shear sheep for me as well nice a poke stick this stick has two uses. For one, it'll double your reach distance while you're holding it. 
so you can reach those pesky spots without wasting your precious energy the other use is that when placed in a dispenser or block placer it'll perform a right click on the block in front of it in the block placer it'll take the reach distance into account Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> oh there's more pages uh shaped crafting couple of blaze rods and that that's pretty cool it's pretty cool i like not bad and what else we've got xp hopper filtered hopper i can imagine what the xp hopper will do collect any xp orbs in a three by three radius and fill them into bottles provided from the bottle slot a progress bar indicates how much xp is needed until the next bottle is filled full bottles will be output like any other item nice it's an eye of ender on a hopper okay <laughs> okay uh filtered hopper another upgrade for a vanilla hopper it offers the five slots for filtered items you can change between white and blacklist the hopper also offers uh these filter modes match meta match nbt match mod okay and it's just iron bars on a hopper that sounds easy enough and that would be able to filter out some of the stuff that we want to keep from the uh, water thing what about the other things though just while we're here looking this item can gives you items the custom description the usage of it is as follows give this item a name in the anvil and combine it with any other item to apply the name of the tag as a description adding the plus in front of the name will add to the current description and adding plus plus will add the description to the last line uh, also naming it null will clear the description so you can add descriptions to things if naming things was not enough and slash n will insert a new line cool but it looks like you've got to combine it in your inventory yeah so not so useful uh biomes are plenty the stuff uh so the dispenser will be able to use all the tools okay tinker's construct uh new for the dispenser now tools for this mod can be used in the dispenser okay oh that's cool but the filtered hopper was what was after so i got that and i will put that on my book rack over there just because out the way uh, i'm gonna make another hopper and this time make it a filtered hopper so we can filter out all of the stuff that we want to keep uh, and i need another chest to put it all in there we go right and back to the base back to deep valley we still a lovely sunny day awesome now let's see what we've got going on in this water strainer how's it looking uh we've got a bit of clay a bit of wood and a branch mm-hmm doesn't oh it does say oak planks there seven percent chance okay well this is good because we can gain a lot of good stuff out of this so uh i guess i would have to put this as a way over here somewhere so we can uh, hopper to it and then underneath well let's get up some more water thank you get some air uh, <laughs> i didn't bring my snorkel unfortunately let's get this and filter hopper it into there we can filter all sorts of things let's filter wood okay let's filter wood like that oh give me air okay so yeah it's bringing wood out that way so it's filtering wood okay we also want it to filter clay and stone that'll be good oh we're gonna go up there we go we also want it to filter stone and clay so that will then go straight to there yes good good and what else well i suppose we wanted the fish but i can't filter all the fish out so we could just filter out some of the blocks and bits and pieces that we want to keep and get them into stacks in there so there's a bonus and i can make a, a dozen or so of those and stack them across so that i get quite a bit of stuff uh, hoppers there's a there's a hopper ducks in the pack and having hopper ducks i could lead them all up and have some kind of dis dispensary somewhere around here somewhere that i can then just go and collect all of the things from all of the strainers in one place that might be something worth doing it might even be worth doing something like this here because i don't think those strainers require um 
a water source, like a flowing water source, so it might be a good thing to be able to do them in here and have all of the hopper chain come to the end here and pop up into a chest at the end for me to collect all of the goodies from the chest at the end. There's also other things like barrels and storage and bits and pieces that we might be able to use. Hmm, I wonder. I've got a few bits and pieces still over at the XP farm that I may as well pick up now and bring over to use um, to make some kind of hopper chain filter type thing over here. We've got some basic drawers or a basic drawer, void upgrade, some storage upgrades, uh, some oak trims will probably be useful and I guess that's it. I'll take the packing tape just in case and I'll take the draw key just in case and I'll take the rest of this iron because I'm going to be using a lot of iron for hoppers. I shouldn't have any iron in there. No, I don't. And what have I got in here? 36 iron. Let's take... Let's take all of it. Yes. So we're stacking a bit. That's pretty good. Uh, how many diamonds do we have now? 20 diamonds from all this lot. That's good. I think everything's been filtering through nicely and going into there. Good. Yes. Excellent. And for that blaze roddy thing i also needed some glowstone i don't know if i've got any glowstone left i might have to do a little trade to get some glowstone to do this better uh let's go back in through this way and back out this way and i suppose we could have a quick sleep just to make it daytime in the overworld from in here and figure out do I have any glowstone yes I do have some glowstone blocks that I purchased earlier smash it up and get all the dust okay so this works like so to make a poke stick awesome we have a poke stick shall we I'll have a poke about with a poke stick uh, and that's for the rest of it I guess I've just got to leave it running for a little while make a few more strainers and uh, get going to make some automation for it all. Oh, what a fine morning it is too. Awesome. And I don't think the crops are going anywhere yet, so it's not winter. I've got a, I've got a seasonal calendar somewhere, or seasonal clock or something somewhere. Uh, but anyway, I've collected up some materials and made some stuff. I've disbanded the one strainer that I had using. I was, I was looking at the season clock. Right? It, uh, I think it's showing that it's nearly winter according to that. You know how sometimes the vanilla clocks would show you the time of day even though you didn't actually have one? Uh, but the seasonal clock, I think it's showing me that it's getting close to winter? I think. I don't know. I'll, I'll check. But it'd be nice if it was winter at Christmas, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if we had a white Christmas. That'd be awesome. But anyway, back to this. I've got six strainers made up, a few hoppers, hopper ducks, and a few bits and pieces. Uh, and this is the stuff that are gathered from that one strainer in whatever uses, 14 uses, 14 uses, something like that. Maybe I've added a, f a couple of oak planks myself. But a few bits and pieces, useful stuff. That's all that I'm after, really. Um, <clears throat> so, to make this work, to make this a work, I've only got three hoppers. So I'm only going to be able to do the first three and go and make some more hoppers in a minute because I don't have the wood. I don't have the wood. I chopped up all of my uh, remaining supplies and I suppose I could go somewhere and just chop a pirate ship apart or something and get a load. But I figured as we're going to be generating wood planks anyway, I can make some uh, chests and make some hoppers that way. Uh, I used the last of my wood up to make some drawers and bits and pieces out of this stuff. So anyway, what are we going to do? We're going to set this up first, I think. So I'm going to put it at the end here and have a little run of these strainers running down this way. So I think I'm going to have my controller here. So my controller can go facing, well it doesn't really matter which way facing, that way facing is good. So long as the items go into it there. Uh, is that dirt? Yes it is. I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. Keep the dirt for another time. So I'm going to have a hopper duct going into the bottom of that and then have the drawers set up as so here. All right, that can go. And the hopper duct is going to go into the bottom of it if I can get down here. Let's see, can I get this? Currently the water's flowing through. Yes, I can. Good. All right, hopper duct into the bottom there. 
right? So that should feed directly into the storage, however that may look in the end. And we're going to be storing blocks, which I will have in the centre, because that's the important part. Blocks of stone, blocks of wood. We'll have some branches and some lily pads in this side over here. So we're not so bothered about those. And we'll have some clay. Uh, let's put the clay in there because that's a nice cool ingredient. All right, so we'll have those. And then we'll set up the strainers with the hoppers going in. Let's just set up the first three. I'll make some more in a bit. Just so that we can uh, get that going after I finish the episode today. So, hoppers... I'm going right down. Hoppers in a hopper chain. Uh, I'm actually going to need to come down one more for this, aren't I? So, let's get the hopper ducks in first. Right, it's really hard to work underwater, isn't it? Right, that goes there. So then, we're going to go down another one. <coughs> it would help if I used a, a spade, people may be saying. Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand Minecraft, don't we? Uh, that in there. Okay. So now I'm on the right height, aren't I? Uh, uh, let me out. <coughs> let me out. Let me get some refreshments. Okay. And then we'll hop uh, into that. Oh, man. I just can't get in the right place underwater today. That there. That there. And then another one there, like that. And I'll add some more on. I'll add more on. I'm a more on. I'll add more on in the future. Let's place that there. That there. That there. So they should all be linked in now. And this should be able to start straining. And as it strains, they should basically flow flow all the items into the boxes here. In theory, that should be fine. And as long as I don't lock these, I'll be alright. Um, let's see. That's you had a use already. That's now got a use already. And that's been used. So they are being used, so therefore they are straining stuff. I just have to keep an eye on it to see if there's any new stuff that comes out of it. But that <coughs> is the basics of what I'm planning on doing. So I will place a few more blocks down here. And fill this area in a little bit more. To have the strainers straining a decent amount that way. And then oh yeah, we've got a little flowered lily pad. Nice. Uh, what's the flowered lily pad look like? Uh, it just, it just broke the water. Can we not, can we not keep it? Can I not get it? No, it keeps placing. No, stop, stop, stop be placing like that. There we go. Oh, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. So this, does it work anywhere? Where can we place this thing? Um, <coughs> uses, it, it might not have any uses in this water. Let's see. I can't place water, so I've got to be careful around these areas. Uh, let's place. Can I? Can I place it anywhere? Yes, I can. I can place it when there's a block underneath it. Okay, but there's something. There's something new to play around with. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's episode. I just wanted to get something quickly done today because I've got plans to do some big stuff a little later on. I want to play around with better better with mods and try and decorate the village a little bit with some better with mod stuff and i want to prepare for christmas festivities and if you've got any ideas for christmas festivities then let me know in the comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for your likes i will see you in the next episode of banished harsh survival <laughs>